Hello viewers, welcome to the video library of the Lord Church of the Universe, City of Love and Forgiveness, the New Jerusalem. Enjoy heaven on earth. Thank you, Father, Almighty, everlasting God. We bless you for your mercy, the power, the grace, the understanding, the wisdom. We appreciate you. May you acknowledge our faithfulness over the little things that more and more will be given unto us. For we to manifest you in whatever we do, in our business, in our marriage, in our career, and in everything around us. Father, we owe you doubt to express you in truth and in the spirit Thus, just as it was in the life of your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ask your neighbor, you know who you are? You are a child of the living God. And Jesus is our Father. The Lord of the earth. And whatever that is here on earth belongs to us. It's very, very important. Sometimes they think that the children of God do not know the right they have to exist, the children of God. Any day your spiritual eyes is open, not for you to begin to see vision or prophesy. Because I know when some of you start seeing vision now, if you see it two, two or three times, you start looking for a way to open a church. But what we are, as, what we are saying here is gaining understanding. That what used to be problem to you, stop being problem to you. That what used to cause you to cry, Stop causing you to cry. Those things that threaten you and put you to fear. Oh God. When you know who you are, <laughs> you will give them levels. And so shall it be. Fear A, fear B, fear C is because you don't have understanding. You don't know who you are. Imagine someone out from your village, call you on phone. Meet me at the park for an emergency. A person from your tribal person. Do you need to go for a hazard? How am I going to communicate with this person? As in, let me go and learn a language to communicate with the person. You freely go. Because whichever topic the person brings, you will be able to speak that language and communicate with the person and do whatever that is needed to do. That is how it is and supposed to be among the children of the living God. If you are walking in the streets faced by any challenge, you just sort it out. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. But when this understanding is not there, when you see devil, you say, wait, let me go and bring my Bible. When you see Satan, you see hardship, you see conf confrontation, you start rolling your sleeves. Let me go and fast for three days. I'll, I'll, I'm coming back to you. That means that you are off and on in relationship with God. But the danger of this thing is 
Even if you go for that fasting, will you really get it right? The only thing holding anybody that is here and will ever continue holding humanity until they come to the understanding that the new Jerusalem came for the freedom of humanity and to liberate humanity and to make Satan our footstool, as it is written, the only thing that could do that is the teaching of the new Jerusalem. We are the last resort and the last hope for humanity. As it was in the days of Noah, so it is now. So our topic today, our message today is titled, Now I Know. Now I Know. Let's start from knowledge. And from knowledge, we move to understanding. Because you must first know before you could understand. For I have told you, knowledge is not enough. In the real sense of the word, as we have nursery school, primary school, and secondary school. That is how we have to, we're supposed to have a knowledge class, understanding class, and a class of performance. You consciously pass through all of them. But many people who do not understand are going into performance class and they haven't even known. It's a graduation. I know the class I am now. Then you bring application and knowledge and understanding and fix them together. Just like you should go to children class now and bring those children there and in adult class. They will be here, they will not understand anything because they don't know. So it is he who knows and graduates from the knowledge of knowing that steps in, into the class of understanding. When you graduate from the class of understanding, then you go into the class of performance. Are we there? Okay. Oh, I'm trying to let you now know the stages and why so many people are frustrated out there. Because somebody can stand to be an evangelist or a preacher or a teacher or a pastor simply because he knows. But he doesn't understand. He go into application. He will be frustrated. I was telling you some stages, I think it was in foundation class. We discussed the stages, information, stages of Christianity, information, worthiness, transformation, and what? And performance. Praise the Lord. Information, transformation, and performance. Information means in. Something come into you to form you, but it has not formed. In, it come into you. That is knowledge. That is what? <coughs> knowledge. People of the world have gathered a lot of information that a little child in primary school can tell you everything you need to know. And if you see them pressing phone, you think that they are the red computer science, engineering. They have gotten a lot of information. 
But this information has not transformed them, has not what? Transform them in form. Let's divide them by syllables, right? By syllables. Transformation per form. So you find out that this is in to form. You know how to form something to mold a clay. When something comes, it comes in to mold you. Then when it comes in, you are still in the stage of knowledge. After you finish it, it has to trans. Trans is transportation. Moving from one realm to the other. Then it has to transfer you or transform you Transform you. So you are no longer the person you used to be when the information came because the information has transported you, moved you from information to transformation. When you become transformed, then you have the power to do what? To perform. Glory be to God. If you miss these classes and these stages, you'll be frustrated therein. Now, when information comes to people, that is knowledge, not understanding. And any information that does not transform you is a deformation. Any information that comes, instead of transforming you, to give you life. It gives you punishment, frustration, disappointment, and all that. Then it is not transformation. It is what? Deformation. It deformed you from the original state you were supposed to be or expand from to something that is negative. So at the point this, we are having what? Understanding. This power stage of understanding will now lead you to performance. That is application. Application of those things which you know and understand. Are we getting the stages? So now, you have gotten information concerning Jesus Christ. Are you transformed by the word which you have heard concerning Jesus? Are you doing and behaving like Jesus? Are you applying it in your life? How does the knowledge of your Jesus Christ affect your business, your marriage, your transaction, your conversation, your thought pattern? That tells you that you have graduated. That is the reason why the prayer of the cross said, I will do and behave like Jesus. Jesus is my father. I will do and behave like Jesus Christ. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, give me the grace to fulfill this in my lifetime. Please pay attention to this so that tomorrow you will not come back complaining. Things are not working. Things are not moving. It can never move. It can never work until you pass through these classes. Just like someone who did not go to school will claim that he can solve mathematical problems. So what has held humanity hostage is because they don't know the process of this. In, in biology, there is what they call the butterfly movement, lava to pupa, pupa to what? Pupa to adult. Butterfly does not pass this stage. It follows them. That is what we are getting, getting here. In physics, there is what we call, they call a solid, liquid, and gaseous. Matter has to move through these uh, stages. And you as a person and as an individual must have to you pass through these stages. So when you something is solid, it cannot communicate freely. When it turns to liquid, what happens? It moves, the movement increases. When it turns to gaseous, 
then you become incomprehensible and invisible to a common eye. That is what Jesus was telling Nicodemus in the book of John the 3. He said, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he becomes born again. Then when you become born again in verse eight, eight, 7 and 8, he said you become like gas that move from the east, west, north and south. Nobody can dictate your movement. Did you get that? <laughs> Glory be to God. So, let's go there. Let's so you get what I'm saying. You know, I was talking about common and uncommon miracle, right? Many people think it is difficult to be a child of God. It is difficult to pray for someone who is sick and the person receives healing. It is difficult to do this and do that. Nothing. It's just the level of your understanding. Level of your understanding. That's all. What you do depends on what you know and what you understand. That's all. Now, today in the New Jerusalem, are we still talking about poverty? I'm asking you. Are we still talking about poverty? Okay. Who is a New Jerusalemite that is poor? Or if you are poor because you heard you, you get information newly, are you hopelessly poor? So poverty is no longer a reality in the New Jerusalem. Why? Because of our level of understanding. Today we can control sickness because of our level of understanding. Today scientists, scientists are going to Mars to go and relocate. Today we go to heaven and come back and settle cases. So what is it? Your level of understanding. So that is the reason why today's message is titled what? Now I know. Now I know. When you come from the knowledge, when you pass the realm of knowledge, you come to the power of understanding. When you get past the class of understanding, you go into the class of performance. That is what Jesus was saying in the book of Mark 9.23. Don't go there. Let's finish with this one. Mark 9.23, is said, all things are possible. Not some things. All things are possible for he who believes. And what is believe? Be and live. And I have told you, whatever you understand, you become. Whatever you understand, you become. You can replicate it. A person who understands wealth and riches, take everything he has. Take everything he has. Give him one year. It will bounce back again. Just as you can go to this tree and cut the tree. The tree can only wait for you for rainy season. During the rainy season, what will happen to the tree? You have just cut. I'm asking all of you. It will grow up. Because it has a root. And the funny part of it is that if you cut a tree and it is growing up, how many trees does it bring out? Branches. More, multiple. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Are you there? That is it. That is to tell you that when somebody is trying to punish you and you are of God, the more he tries, the more he blesses you. Go and try it in your yard. Cut a tree that is growing as a single tree. If it is coming, it will come with different branches. I remember in the days of the old when the people of the Israelites were in the land of Egypt. The king wanted to punish the women of a Hebrew. But the more he tried to suppress them in conspiracy with the 
wives. What happened? The more the Hebrews begin even to deliver without going to from asking a midwife to come and assist. What is that telling you? When people you are right and somebody wants to oppress you, forget it. The more you try to oppress you, the more you multiply. I'm giving you now a biology. Is it agriculture or biology? Go home now and plant. <laughs> Go home now and plant a tree or flower and allow it to grow to a certain stage and cook it. But when you are not a child of you will complain, they came, they steal, they, they destroy my things. I this one, they collected it, and they just every time you're complaining, wait. To know why that thing, God allowed those things to happen. Because something later is about to happen. I had told you, any problem that happened to you and you are not the cause, don't cry over it. Don't worry over it. Anything that happens to you and you are not the cause of it, there is a lesson hiding somewhere. So, from solid to liquid, from liquid to what? To gaseous stage. Now, let's see where Jesus applied the science in teaching Nicodemus, the teacher of the law. Start from verse 2. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know. We do what? <laughs> we know but we do not understand <laughs> we know but we do not understand you see a millionaire you see a rich man what you are asking him is please give me money please give me money please give me money why? because you know money If you are not foolish and mad, don't ask a rich man for money. Ask him, please, I want to understand how you made what you are making. Teach me. Teach me. That's it. So that's what Nicodemus is, ta is talking about, a teacher of law. He said, I know, but I don't understand. I want to know more. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Will you today beg a person to give you financial assistance? You don't need it. Let's go. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher. But we don't understand why you're a teacher. Because me also, I am a teacher. <laughs> I don't understand how this wisdom came. We need to understand it because you know Nicodemus is a teacher of law, right? But he doesn't understand. Come from God. For we know that you come from God and we also suspect that we came from God. For no one can do these things signs that you do unless God is with him. Let's go. Next verse. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you get information and the information transforms you, you cannot perform. Because the kingdom of God is atmosphere of all possibilities. Where all impossibilities are made possible. Okay, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Let's go. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Are you there? Now, in the same vein, scientists were telling the people who were not scientists that a point will come when whether 
you fetch water in the morning or in the night or in the afternoon or in the hot sun the water will be cold they say it's not possible they said okay the science, physical scientists say it is going to be possible when one buy fridge or freezer You know, I just got one in my office now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, people who do, do know, but do not understand. What is their challenge? They can't have what they need to have. They can't create. So, the scientists know how to control weather. And Jesus knows how to control the spirit. And that is what he was discussing with Nicodemus. How is it possible that someone can be born again? Let's go. Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water. Water is it liquid or solid? Okay. And the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. That which is born of this flesh is flesh, is solid. That that is born of uh, the flesh is solid. It can't change. It's too rigid. It is what? Too rigid. Too rigid. Too religious. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit, free. It can move, it's liquid. Let's go. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. Let's go. The wind blows. <laughs> Where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot, cannot do what? Where it comes from. And where it goes, so is everyone who is born of the Spirit, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Did we get it? <laughs> Did we get it? So when one is not a new Jerusalem, my there is this struggle. I want to do this. I must do this. It must be like this. No. But when you become a new Jerusalemite, understanding comes to you. You melt and begin to flow unstoppably. And no one can detect your movement. I'm talking about your grandma, your grandma, whom, grandpa, whom you say is a witch or a wizard. When you go home, because you are of the light. The witches will no longer be able to spot you. It is after you shall have gone back. Now the person who is the witch doctor will go and tell the oracle, didn't you people see that these people, this guy came back? They say, he came back when? He has been and gone. Nobody can dictate you anymore. Because they have lost your frequency. But why Christians are still afraid and being tormented by de Satan and demon is because they have information but they have not been transformed. In the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. In the image and likeness of God. So that is the reason why they are being oppressed by Satan. A sensual spirit is still pursuing so many people to today. I think if we come to the end now, it's okay. Uh -huh. It's a lot. Yeah, because this is okay for you to know. It's okay. You don't need too much things. Just this understanding. What Jesus is saying there, you will come to your village and go back and nobody will know. You are making your money and nobody can stop you. No charm can walk on you. 
Glory be to God. So, have you seen it? From solid to liquid. Solid. Jesus is saying you must be liquid. Then from the liquid, if you are still following the, you become gaseous and unpredictable. Which I have told you. Now the power of wisdom is catch me if you can. So from information we get what? I hope you people know what is transport. Carrying you from Lokoja to, to Abuja. Or is it just? Okay. Then performance. You cannot perform because you understand. Now performance means pay a person. Person. That means you are accountable and responsible for everything which you do. And you are accountable, that is pay. In anything you do, you can account for it. You are personally responsible for everything you do. So when they ask you, why are you poor? Don't say, because my grandfather died when I was very young. <laughs> are we there? Why are you a prostitute? Because I don't see any person who is going to train me or help me. Why are you fighting back? No, why are you revenging? Why are you doing that this person has done me too bad? No. You are accountable in whatever thing you do. Just as I used to tell you people, we are guarantor of every word we speak. If you hear anything in the New Jerusalem and you go and put it into practice and it didn't work, come, we will pay you for damages. Because what we are performing, we are conscious of it. We can account for it. Are we there? You know, during coronavirus, if you go to somebody, it says, since coronavirus. Since what? Nothing is working. No, it's not for you. Your own government is not controlled by corona. Your own government is not controlled by Buhari or the president of any nation. Your own presidency is found in heaven. So you must be conscious of this. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Somebody was discussing with me yesterday that there was a man of God they were teasing. You know these bloggers. Teasing because he made an announcement during coronavirus that any person, everybody should pay tight through through what? MTN, um, through transfer. Why? Those things which is surviving from is closed by government. <laughs> it's closed by government. Did I call any of you to bring one naira? Wasn't one naira coming? More than, much more than So when you don't have value, when you are not connected to God, when you are not rooted with understanding of the things which you do, anything can affect you and destroy you in the physical. But when you have understanding, you don't care. Say, tell your neighbor, now I know why I was poor, why I was sick, why I was complaining? Why I was worried? Why I was troubled? Self pity is because you don't know who you are. Excuse for doing evil is because you don't know who you are. If you understand it, no excuse. Everything is okay for the glory and for the good of God. Because greater is He that is in me than he that is in the world. So, the classes we need to be passing through is this. When you know, you understand. When you understand, you can perform. And when you are performing, you don't have an excuse. 
That is the authority backing us all. Knowledge and understanding. Why I'm driving this far is because you know our anniversary is coming. Glory be to God. We have four days now to go for our anniversary. And many of you who came from religious sector have been longing to fast. Have been longing to, to fast. And we said, okay, we're going to fast for three days so that we will be able to fulfill our righteousness and give you what you have been longing for. But you must have to understand how to fast and why you are fasting. Very, very important. Now I know why Christians are suffering. Now I know why all prayers are not answered. Now I know. And I understand as well, telling you, no life would have been saved if not for the coming of the new Jerusalem. Where mysteries are demystified and every family become a ministry. Where mysteries are being demystified and every family become a ministry. So in your family, we are expecting you as a new Jerusalemite to get the same equation you expect in the church. The same atmosphere you find in church must be registered in your family. I'm a living testimony. I'm what? A living testimony. Yes, the same atmosphere. Because my wife will stay in the kitchen. All of a sudden, she, a screen will appear. And she will see one or two things. It's asking me, but when I go to my village, when I was there, I don't see all these things. I said, no. The atmosphere is charged. <laughs> we are in heavenly atmosphere. Where all things, you, you can. Last week when I was planning on how to round off uh, the, the laws of the truth, she came, I came, I started planning for that. I was just putting one or two things together. Then I came out. I went, I, I, came, I came out, I was in the parlor. She was telling me that. She went out now, she saw someone on the, on the steering, carrying book. Open book like this and uh, it was like, he went closer, the person disappeared. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> so that is it the atmosphere when it is charged everything become electrified so we are expected the same atmosphere that is found in a church of God supposed to be found in your shop between you and your customers between you and your suppliers and your distributors between you and your workers, the same atmosphere. Then you leave that place and now come again to your house. The same atmosphere is supposed to be found. You live there and meet your friends. The same atmosphere must still be found. Otherwise, you are not a Christian. The same atmosphere. Glory be to God. And we are on it. And we are on it. So it is very, very important that you understand how to pray and how to fast. 
Don't fast like religious people. When you want to fast and you fast without understanding, you put a curse on you. When you want to pray and you pray without understanding, you put a curse on you. The more you pray and fast, the more problems become worse. I have encountered so many people who say they are still going to church. Okay, you are one of them. Okay, they stop going to church because they don't, they know but they don't understand. If Jesus is this thing he will talk about, why is he not working out loud? I have prayed, I have fasted, I have sowed seed, I have prayed midnight prayer, I have done everything, sleep in the mountain, and nothing is happening. They know, but they, do, don't, they don't do what? They don't understand. Have you people seen why I'm telling you that any general overseer that comes here must pass through foundation class? Yeah? It's, that, it's, it's what? It's starting. <laughs> it's starting. Because we have to take into these things which you have not known of. So fasting without knowledge, praying without knowledge, is very very destructive i want to ask a question and who will answer me that question caesar do you beg god to bless you or tell god to bless you uh-huh okay we tell god to bless you okay can you defend it Okay. I have mommy, Victoria Honora. Uh, do you tell God to bless you or beg God to bless you? Okay, Teresa. Do you beg God to bless you or tell God to bless you? Okay, clap for them. These people are graduates, you know. This great. Okay, so many of you have written your projects. Okay. You tell God to bless you. Don't beg God to bless you because it is your right. God is your father. Yes, sir. You can beg God to forgive you, but you don't tell God to bless you. I mean, you can't beg God to, to bless you. You can tell God to bless you. You can beg God for forgiveness, but you don't beg God to bless you. Because God is your father. So if God has forgiven you, and he failed not to bless you, he stopped being God. Are you there? As a father has the right to disown a child, so also a child has the right to disown a father. So as a child of God, you don't beg God to bless you. It's your right and your heritage. As long as he has forgiven you, adopted you and accepted you as a son, the case is settled. When you have a problem, you can tell him. You don't have to beg, hey, my own is different. God, no. If you are crying, you are crying for yourself. God, why me? He will continue becoming why you. And if you don't repent, he will transfer to your children. Why are you crying? What did Jesus tell a, 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 the father of a, a child that died. He came and sat, he said, "No, why? The child is sleeping. The child died is doing what? He's sleeping. When I go, I will tell my father to bring her back to life. Did she come back to life or not? Please pay attention to all these lyrics. All the what? Lyrics." If you don't follow them as it is, it's just like the same using key that is meant for this door to open the other one. So when you are telling God you want to speak to God, don't cry. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Don't do what? Don't murmur. Don't complain. It's your father. Where you can cry is remorse. I have been doing evil. Now I know what I was doing was wrong. You can cry. will allow you to cry. Continue crying. When you are done, your sin is forgiven because you have shown remorse. Then, when you want to communicate with God, don't cry again. 
Because your sin has been Mommy, do you cry when you use your prayer? Uh, uh, the, the way you are looking at me? Okay, you don't cry, right? Okay. Tell God, I need this. He will do it for you. Go and relax. The only thing you need to do is become an obedient child to Him. When you become an obedient child, everything will follow. Compulsorily. What? Compulsorily. God does not have option. God does not have option to bless anyone who is obedient to his word. But you can beg God for forgiveness. That means you are no longer in fellowship with him. Eh? So you can cry and ask God, now I know I was a sinner. But immediately you are adopted. The case is settled. Whichever way, whatever challenge you have, report it to him. He said, be careful for nothing, but with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, make your request known to, is there anything that would of what? Do what? Think about them. That the peace of God that supersedes all understanding will be upon you. Do you understand that? Simple. So we are done with this. Okay. So now, fasting. I'm praying. In the book of Mark, Matthew chapter 17, verse 17, down to 2021. 20, when they brought a child that was epileptic to Jesus, to Jesus' disciple to pray and deliver, they did all they could. And it was not possible. What did they do? They took the child to Jesus Christ. Jesus prayed and they got delivered. Now, the disciples knew they had power. They knew they were with Jesus Christ, but they needed understanding. That is why then they now went to him according to the record and went to him privately and asked him, hey guy, come. <laughs> we wanted to do this thing which we know but it was not possible please give us understanding give us understanding that was the time Jesus now told them that this one cannot go without what? praying and fasting which today people have also fallen victim with praying and fasting because Jesus said now you lack understanding, you go into praying and fasting. Then you continue putting costs on yourself. Why? Because the statement was not made to the public, it was made to the disciples who were seeking understanding so that they would be able to cast out demons. Now, today the religious people copy and paste and now telling people to go and pray and fast before you become free from Satan. Now, as we are going to read, you will tell me whether Jesus Christ was speaking to the public or was speaking to the disciples, the, 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 the what? The pastors and general overseers who are supposed to fast on behalf of the congregation. Let's go. Let's go. Who is there? Look. Okay, Matthew, chapter 17, verse 17. Please pay attention. I thank God that none of you have ever come to me and asked me to give you, give you fasting because you have gotten the understanding that fasting in error or fasting from food is one of the things. Then Jesus answered and said, Oh, faithless and perverse generation. Faithless and perverse generation. People without understanding. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? 
bring him to me. Let's go. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour, what the disciples could not do. Let's go. Then the disciple came to Jesus privately. Please underline that privately in your Bible. And said, why could we not cast it? They are now seeking for understanding. Came to him privately. Why couldn't we? And we are pastors under you. Let's go. So you see the private? Was it publicly? Private means what? Secret. People selected few. Okay. So Jesus said to them, because of, you, because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. And nothing will be impossible for when you have understanding. Nothing will be impossible for you. Let's go. However, this kind does not go uh, except by prayer and fasting. He gave them understanding. How to pray? Why to pray? He said you can move mountain, which is the same thing in the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 23 to 25. He says, if you want to move mountain, forgive those if you want to move mountain in your life, forgive those that have you have anything against. If you don't, that mountain will never move. Your heavenly Father will never forgive you. So those of you who are going into fasting, don't fast to kill anybody. Don't fast with anger in your heart. Don't fast with cry in your heart. Don't fast with self-pity. Don't fast with regret. Fast with open-mindedness that you really want God to forgive you if you have, if there is any way you have gone against him to give you a new platform to receive whatever you want. Is that understood? All right. I am saying this and I'm repeating. When we went to the Spirit for the sake of this anniversary, if you come to this place in, if you are can see spiritually and understand there are a lot of cartons packed here on the other side which are the gifts that will be distributed on that 25th March when we walk around this church this Christmas light is blinking the whole of this place the angels are busy fixing them. That's why you see in the physical, I'm so calm, we are so calm. Because what matters in anything you are doing is endorsement from where? From the spirit. If spirits have endorsed it, that's all. So I'm telling you people now because when we say now fast for three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so many of you now will start asking, somebody told you somebody must die before you progress. That gift, it will not come to you. You must have to communicate to God with a free mind. Telling him, don't cry now when you are fasting. So many people said, they, they want to challenge God. I've told you people, God is not your mate. You don't do what? You don't challenge God. What do you do to God? You try God. You can try Him, but don't challenge Him. If you challenge Him, He'll crush you into pieces. So don't cry. Open your heart. Tell God. Praise the Lord. Are we there? The blessings is there. You learn how to do. Then when you do, you get a result. The keys are the things which I'm giving to you. 
to give you understanding, knowledge and understanding. In the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 8, there is this man that was longing to pray and receive from God because he has repented but he doesn't know how to pray. Now, I told you people, angels are available everywhere but they can only act on demand and if you want to put up demand, your demand must not be amiss, you must ask God according to his will, not according to your will, so that you receive. Now, this man, Utopian eunuch, was had a need to communicate to God, but if he doesn't understand him, have understanding, so the more he's struggling to repent and change, the more he, he was failing. Now, angel went to Philip and said, please go. Go and teach this person because I can never come in until this person gain understanding. I never come in until this person get understanding because if angels should act according to or contrary to the will of God, the angel will be judged and punished. So angel needed someone to give understanding to go and give understanding and teach people. I was telling you people, God don't know that you are a poor man. Whatever you are suffering from, God is not away. Because that problem you have is not his nature. Am I give, giving you understanding? He has created the word and said, as soon as you keep to my will, come here and start enjoying so you can't expect God to come out from his throne and begin to look for who is crying. Because if you start looking for who is crying, then crying becomes his nature. If you start looking for who is poor, then poverty becomes his nature. So for poverty not to be his nature, he stays away. You will be wondering why is it that these millions of people don't have these mysteries and revelations? Why is it that Christians are being deceived by the so-called general overseer, men of God, and all that? The reason is that God does not care. God does not care. Chill. He is able to get a general overseer or a person who has understanding, who would give up his own selfish seeking, and have that willingness to teach other people what they don't know. If then there is nobody like that, nobody will be saved. Because God does not know that the world is suffering because he created the world and made it perfect. So if they deceive you and you believe in their deception, God removes his hand. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yeah, many people will be saying, Hey, does it mean all these men of God, all these children of God that are doing are going to go to hell? They are in hell, they are, and they are going to go unless they repent. Because God created the world and finished it and gave it truth to manage the world and live. So whosoever holds truth is who attracts God. So if you don't have good, this uh, good, you will not attract God. So look at, let's see what happened there. Ethiopia eunuch was trying to pray to communicate to God. It was impossible. Now God said, angel, now God assigned an angel. Go and speak to Philip. Now tell Philip to go and meet this man. Give him understanding so that I will be able to come in. If he doesn't have understanding, I'm not going to intervene in his case. As of Apostle 8.26. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south, along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. Angel instructed Philip and give him direction of where this man who is looking for God, but he doesn't have the socket. What is the socket? The understanding. Go and give him the socket. Go and wire light for him. Go and give him what? Wire light for him so that 
he will be able to get connected to me. Verse 30. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He said, How can I understand it without somebody guiding me? Then how do you think churches will be saved, humanity will be saved without the teaching of the New Jerusalem? So it's not because you want God to do something, you want God to do something. Leave that thing which you call your problem. Go and seek for the understanding of God. Immediately you seek for the understanding and get the understanding, you turn like this, the problem will run away. Because what Satan can do or use to colonize the world is nothing but ignorance. Ignorance. You don't know. You are going to Lagos and devil came and told you enter moto that is going to Kaduna. If he succeed in putting you into a car that is going to Kaduna, you are gone. If he drop you in Kaduna, he can tell you this is Lagos. This is what? Lagos. And <laughs> many of you are living in a destiny that is not your destiny. That's why things are very difficult. Am I communicating with you? Tell your neighbor, now I understand. Now I understand. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. So first we need peace of mind. Forgive anyone who have offended you so that you able to move forward. You'll be able to move forward. Finally, let's read the book of Zechariah. In the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, let's start from verse 3. People consulted the prophet and asked them, we want to fast as we have been fasting for 70 years. Zechariah told them that it is not fasting that is your problem. Your, fast, your problem is that you don't know the truth. When you know the truth and understand it, you don't need fasting. But as long as you people are disobedient to truth, as you are fasting, your problem is multiplying. Do we read it? Okay. And, okay, start from verse 2 so that we get that conjunction out. When the people sent Shereza, with a regime, Melech and his men to the house of God to pray before the Lord. To pray before the Lord, go, and to ask the priests who were in the house of the Lord of and the prophet, saying, I weep each month and fast as I have done for so many years. Let's go. Then the word of the Lord of the host came to me, saying, Go, say to all the people of the land and to the priests, When you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh months, during those seventy years, did you really fast for me? Did you really fast for me? For seventy years, they have been fasting in error. <laughs> A prophet, prophet Zechariah, is now reporting to them what God said. Go and ask these people. Let's go. When you eat and when you drink, do you not eat and drink for yourself? Let's go. Should you not have obeyed the words and forget about fasting, which the Lord proclaimed? Through the former prophet. You see, prophets have been talking. When Jerusalem and the cities around it were inhabited and prosperous, and the south and the lowland were inhabited. Did you fast for me? 
You are speaking in tongues. Did I ask you to speak in tongues? You sow seed. Did I ask you to sow seed? Did I ask you? He didn't ask you. Verse 13, verse 12 and 13. Let's come to the end. 12 and 13. Yes, they made their heart like flint, refusing to hear the laws and the words which the Lord of the hosts had sent by his spirit through the former prophets. Thus, great wrath came from the Lord of hosts. Let's go. Verse 13. Therefore, it happened that just as he proclaimed, and they would not hear, so they could they called out, and I would not listen, says the Lord of the hosts. 50 50. Tell your neighbor 50 50. 50 50 50. I told you the truth, you did not do it. You come back and begin to complain. As I told you to do the truth and you didn't live by the truth, then don't fast. If you fast, your fasting will not be answered. If you want your fasting to be answered, go and do what I ask you to do. Clap for Jesus. Period. People are intimidating you. Go and fast for three days. Dry fasting. Judah, so I still remember you. You know the day they asked you to fast for for three days. You really cha- you nearly changed the the time. Before the second day, he was no longer alive. You remove the work clock and put it here. He's still saying the same thing. Remove it and put it. <laughs> Now ask him, after fasting, did the problem go? Fa fa fa. Fa 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 fa. Which are you are laughing? You are now growing very fat. Eh? Okay. You know your friend traveled? Oh, you don't know. Okay, she called me this morning. Uh, Okamaka. Eh, hey, daddy, I'm enjoying my life now. That's it. Those problems have disappeared. I don't. Uh... <laughs> I said before, Uncle, glory be to God. Now, this is it. Please. Everything in the spirit is too free. Simple. If men will relocate and begin to gain understanding and get their supply from the spirit. There can never be a sick or a poor person in the world. But you see this religion, Christian religion and other religions, they have dealt with humanity. They have dealt with humanity. I talk because my father sent me to talk. Last on post, or was it on, on two days ago, we went to spirit. My wife told you the story. Told you the story. And you have not come to let me know. He yeah? told you yesterday night. The wife had a problem. Now Kenneth came to me and reported. See what is happening. People are dying in the wife's community. And there is somebody who died. And the wife cannot contain. I say I can't handle this. The wife is a new Jerusalemite. She has heard a lot of our words. Why is she still crying that somebody died? So you want me now to talk to her? How? So what we are going to do is let bypass them and go to the other way. Word. Let's go to the spiritual realm and trace the problem. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the wife. And the wife came. Now, it's from Edem. The wife is from Edem. And you are from where? Yeah? Ogu local government. From Ogu local government. We move in the spirit and was traveling to Edem village. Before we got there, a woman came and blocked our way in the spirit. The leg was not touching the ground. We now bring our AK-47 living water 
to burn the woman into ashes. He said, no, I did not come to fight you people. I have been waiting for a day like this. I have been waiting for a day like this. I, we said, where are you coming from? He said, he's from Orgo. That she died long ago and her seven children are in this physical world. But look at seven of them tied by demon. A charm made by an uncle. Tie these seven children of hearts. But she doesn't have the power to go and lose them. Please, we should go and assist her to lose these children so that they will be free in the physical world. Is your? Your elder sister? So you know this? This is true. Please. That she, she died, she has been roaming, 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 roaming. Nothing but these seven children, she can't do anything. That she's helpless. Please, we should go. Yeah? He said, who has microphone? He said? Six boys and one girl. Okay. Say what? She has six boys and one girl. Six boys and one girl. And none of them is in the way. No, none of them is going anywhere. Then we left a new, uh, and then we were going to, we now had to revise and start going to OCO, local government. We went there, she pointed to us. Look at the man, he called the name of the man, the angel, the mumu and called the name of. The man, the angel reported to us who killed, who caged those children and killed the woman. Now, as we were trying to lose those seven children, then another family, four children, four boys, from what? From my sister again, four boys. Okay, from your sister again. This the other one, senior, the other one. Another four boys came and said, look at us. He was not there, but we were there. He does not know, but we knew, and we understand. What is understanding? Ability to see the unseen in the scene. All he knows is that the four boys are not doing well. But he don't know that they are roped and frozen somewhere in the spiritual world. So what we did, we released seven boys, the seven family, seven people, <coughs> and again release the seven, the four other boys. Then we now went to the the uncle, and you know the uncle, you don't know the person, okay? I've forgotten the name, but the record is there, okay? Now we had to scatter the charm burnt them, then the woman said that what killed her was that she really saw a clay pot. She saw a clay pot when she was sweeping the compound and thought it was an ordinary clay pot. He didn't know that that was where they instituted the idol. Now sweep the whole clay pot, the following day sickness came and from there till she found herself in a soft copy in the spiritual world. Glory be to God. <laughs> so, immediately we released those seven, boy, seven people and the other four boys, the woman turned and walked away. So, why are we coming this way? Is there no church in your place? Is there no healing there? 
There are many churches. Eh? And even you, you are a Christian. <laughs> you get it? The woman is a spirit, but she's helpless. They have been there going for family deliverance, praying, fasting, and all that. But nothing happened. Not until today. Now, where I'm going is that this woman she's been waiting because nobody could consciously walk in the spirit as it's walking in the physical. Are you there? Yes. Walk except the demonic people. Are we there? So this is what I'm telling you people. I'm just telling you what my father said I should let you people know. And so many of you will think we are boasting. If it is a boast, let's boast in the Lord. Let's do what? Boast in the Lord. The party had been there. Now, we left and went to Edem. When we got to Edem, now, the people from the lineage of the people we are going to, that's your wife, it happened that years back, the father was giving birth to children and the children continued dying. Children continued dying repeatedly. Now the father now met a friend who told him, let us go to a place where we can protect you against this untimely death. And they went and brought that charm. When they brought the charm, then they buried the charm. When they buried the charm, the charm protected the children. Listen. The charm did what? According to them. Say according to them. Okay. Now, the children now came into the physical world and become alive. They have given them what they asked with a linen. None of the children is making a sickness from A to Z. Now we ask the demon, immediately we sprinkle living water on the shrine. It's not, it's not a crocodile and it is not a lizard. But it's bigger than a human being. It appeared and cracked the soil and came. He said, why? He said, yes, he was the demon that explained to us all these things. And now told us that since the father, the person died, these people don't want, they don't know how, what they call a maintenance uh, culture. <laughs> there is no maintenance culture. The foul, the cola nut, the liberation and other things, they have forgotten him. Now, I say, who killed this person now that is in much worry? He says, it's not me. The only thing I did is that I gave them, all of them, sickness one by one. That none of them is free. Now, when I, have, I finish distributing them, I am just there watching so that they will go and ask questions and come and begin to worship me. Eh? It's not the one killing. There is a commandant that is killing. We are going to... <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, this is what we now had to burn the... The what? The idol, burn the lizard or turtles or whatever, got it burnt, then burnt the other one, then the whole family became freed. The whole family become, became freed. Now, I asked the woman, your wife, what is the name of your village in the physical? She says, the name of the village is uh, Nkoshora Eden. Eh? Okay. What? Okay. Now I say what? Sit down. <laughs> I say what is the meaning of that? 
she said she doesn't know that name means people that are always troubled day in and day out now because of the name of the village we had to go to the village of the village square when we got to the village square the whole youths were all chained then we now ask the demon and the deity controlling this village to come a very mighty lion appeared when the lion appeared we say who are you he said that when these people they were being troubled from pointed somewhere in a village you know during those days there used to be war conquering someone collecting the village the lad then they went and rented this demon lion and asked them to look after the village then they shift from that community to another community and resettled where they are now so since that day the lion has been there lion how old are you is 200 years so now all these people have come to be born fry again they don't want to worship the lion again and jesus they are calling they know jesus but they don't understand jesus so the lion gets all the youths rubbish now we commanded the lion to be put in a cage we cage the lion sent thunder the thunder scattered the lion and burn it into ashes And we lose all the whole goods. And we now ask an angel who is going to volunteer to replace this lion. That if the lion was able to survive for 200 years, useless, useless in people, we can still contract an angel that can stay there forever to guide the village. An angel volunteered and came and we commissioned the angel to stay in the village square and take charge of those community from now and forever. This one is it crusade or imperial leather. You know there is soap they call crusade. Yeah? Crusader. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Is this one Crusader or Imperial Leather? Or Joy Soap? So we are taking all these things one at a time. So that if you see these people who are making noise, tell them to be careful. Tell them to be what? To be careful. You know you brought one person who says he's a, a man of God. After cancelling him, I said I want to pray for him. He said, to receive my prayer please don't pray for me i say why he said i said no problem on a very good day same head and beg me to come and pray for you I, when i left after much he met me in the office and said please come and pray for me again i said no this this is your head and it's what my hand carry your head and go I will not pray again with you. He said he knows I'm a man of God, but he has suffered so much in the hand of uh, pastors. They have laid hands. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank God, Corona has stopped laying hands on people. <laughs> they have laid hand and laid hand, and he is tired, and the t anointing is. Glory be to God. Say Christianity with a difference. With authority and power. Now I know why Christians are not making it. They call you in altar call. Hey, Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and uh, oh ho, oh, devil will say thank you. This one is safe. <laughs> because confessing in altar means you will not go to witch doctor again. So you will not trouble them again. 
Then if you go to other places, they say Holy Communion. You go, ah, ah. I have eaten the blood of Jesus and you don't sleep at night. <laughs> oh, humanity don't suffer. Don't suffer. Now it is our time to begin to open churches in heavens. Open churches in, in heaven. Like this village now, if demon is not afraid, let it go there. Any charm that goes in there, if I am you there, come. Any charm that goes in there, will do what? Just the, 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 the angel will just be there, collecting it. The youth will start moving forward. They don't know why they are moving forward. They don't know why they are moving forward. You know, the day we went to a place, there was a sickness going within the town. Eh? Did it enter your village? No more. When we went to their village, we called all the demons there. I've never seen any demon. It's just like when we went to your place. We met almost 300, 350 pythons, pythons in their house. Then when we went to his house in their community, back under a bridge, Demons were flying like bats. I say, if we go inside this one to do, these people will do something. So what we did, we just ordered the tarpaulin to come from heaven and put all of them in a, a tarpaulin and seal them. And we flash light to consume all of them. And they became free. The trouble that we were going, the sickness that was going there, came to their village and stopped. And if I was telling them, you people should watch out. Is that true? Yes. Watch out. This sickness will never come to our, our community. And it happened like that. Say, Jesus, power and authority. Heaven has come down here on earth. And his will is done here on earth as it is in heaven. Don't try any new Jerusalemite. Are you listening to me? If you keep to our word, any deity or witch doctor that collect the picture of any Jew in Jerusalem who stopped his practice on that day. Eh? Do I tell you another story? I'm asking, do I tell you another story of what happened in oil and gas? Oil and gas industry. We met the deity that is controlling oil and gas in Nigeria. There is one of us here who have a contract to do in oil and gas, running in billions. Then it got to a certain stage. The business got hooked. He came, we went to the spirit, and we assigned an angel. The manager refused to sign the agreement. We will ask an angel to monitor this manager. So he signed that agreement. Now, the man after like one month called me and said, the table, the case has gotten to the table of the manager as Angel said, but the manager refused to sign it. I said, okay, come. We went to the spirit. We now went on our way going to the office of the manager. A bed, a demon appeared and blocked our way. When he block our way, we say, who are you? Immediately, he has started releasing fire. We say, who are you? He say, he is the person this manager is worshipping. How dare us come from 
another group, a holy person, come to collect what belongs to his worshippers. That he is the one who stopped the manager from signing the document. <laughs> what we saw that day, you pity Christians. You see all this business, you're doing that, you're doing that. You can't be there. Either you're a New Jerusalemite or you go and join an occult. That day was the day I confirmed it. The bird came, flashlight. We commanded the angel to put the bed in a nylon. I said, Are you know that. I asked the angel, <laughs> carry that bed, put it in a, a line on, and we put it in a line on. It should allow us to talk. Is it because we are quiet? <laughs> the bed was put in a line on, burnt into ashes. Then we went to the young uh, man. Before we go, group of people wearing black and red on their forehead appear. Now, one of them in the, in the court pointed hand at us and said, you people are taking more than required. I said, do you know New Jerusalem? He said, yes, so you people, what do you people think you are? I said, do you know that you are, the demon is already destroyed and you still have the gods? To challenge us. Okay, who are you? Now, the man said that Arise, are you here? Madam Arise, are you here? It's not here. Okay, come. What we are doing is practical, not theory. There was a contract, a job opportunity that came from NNPC, oil company, which the wife of this person was to be applied, was to be employed now they now hijack it because it's not a part of them the wife is not a, a part of them then we goggled in the spirit and located them the man was reporting to me now that when they were having their meeting in a certain filling station we came and scattered them and destroyed the vulture they imported from uh, India then when we destroyed the vulture, then they themselves came in the physical and dissolved the appointment. Let everybody lose it. And the, instead of us to put our own person, let, let everybody lose it and they dissolved the appointment. That is how the wife did not get the job. Already Satan said she's not going to be a part of the job because they don't belong. Then he came in the physical and dissolved it. He said, we have come back again here to challenge them. Now I say, command them, all of them, I put them in a cage. Put all of them in a cage, lock them. Made them powerless. They were vomiting all their charms. They were living beings, so we don't have to kill them. Because in the physical, they were alive. They vomited all of that and they were made powerless. We now ask them to walk out. We now asked them to walk out. The case was settled. Then we now went to another man called uh, some, somebody Valentine. Let me not complete the name for security reasons. Are you there? Then called Valentine. We got to him. He called himself a man of God all that. Who is scattering the same business. We called him. He came. When he came, we say, why are you? What are you doing? He says he wants to carry his own people along. We call it the deity is worshipping and burnt the deity into ashes. And ask him to comply, otherwise, he will lose the job. 
The following morning, the person whom went on to the spirit on his behalf called me on phone. Say Valentine is responding. <laughs> Valentine is, is responding. <laughs> he is responding. Now, I'm telling you, when I'm telling you we are going to take over the world, it's not a joke. I know how to handle them. Now, there is another oil block. Oil, block one, block two, block three. Which the person is still in charge of. Then we now went again to perfect that in the spiritual realm. When we got there, we saw, we commanded the power backing them up. A ground began to open. Began to open. Began to open. And the tree without a leaf appeared. We sprinkle living water on the tree without a leaf, and from here, turn to human being, marine power. Now, the power say, who brought you people here? I say, who are you? He say, it's the power that is controlling crude oil from India. We say, have you heard about New Jerusalem? He say, go and sit down. Then, he says, can we do what these people are doing? I say, why? Can, you, can we kill young, young baby, ladies, I mean, uh, children? Now, I reminded them that young, young children is not more uh, expensive than the blood of Jesus Christ. And today is your last day. And this is how we bundle this uh, marine power deity and put steel in a, a cage and burnt it into ashes. Glory be to God. So, we are weakening them now. We don't know whether we are going to go to another trip, but in case if there is any other deity controlling oil and gas, here comes the new Jerusalem. Here come the new Jerusalem to recover everything humanity have ever lost. And when this business we are talking about, you know what I told you people? That this year is a year of settlement. Eh? We keep on working. When I was in the bedroom today, something flashed to me. I was remembering that the case of this oil, crude oil, is the, is the same thing when I handled the case of uh, Uju. Uju, my, my sister. Before the girl came to my house, God asked me to go and buy a notebook and keep. I will learn a lesson. You people know the story of uh, Chigose's wife. Madam, come. I should go and buy a notebook. I'm passing through a course, a training. Look at the queen. <laughs> Satan wanted to take. Supposing the picture is in the media, you will see he, she was like this. This face will turn like this and face here. When the Satan came to her, take her life, she will cry for hours. She will stay two days in coma without knowing where she is. Someday she was in my place, I was going home on Thursday service and she was telling them in two occasions she was telling them put the flower here in her grave put the flower here put the flower here put the flower here she was already there telling them how they are going to bury her unconsciously when I got there then 
I don't know what I used to do. You know, by then it was only me who was going to spirit. <laughs> but now I don't go alone. Then she came back. Some other day, I was still going. On Thursday service again. Because I think they know when I'm coming out here, they will go and uh, begin to do what they... I was coming, he was telling them, ha, if if he buy comes back, you will hear, you will see. If if he buy comes back, she was lying unconsciously, telling the demon, if I should come back and meet them here, they will they are in trouble. <laughs> so she was just saying that. I just you know, I just was I was just watching her. I saying, if my brother comes back, if my brother comes back, now I came back, and. I scatter all of them. <laughs> Glory be to God. So, God told me to buy notebook and keep that we are going into training. It was her that we started moving in the spirit. Started working in the spirit from her. Then everything was perfected. So also in this oil and gas. 2012, God told me that you see Christianity and religion, they say that this world we are in is like a place where people are farming rice. Farming rice. But they don't know that there's an oil deposit beneath it. But he will guide me and reveal to me that this rice is not enough. There is oil beneath the soil. So that is when it finished happening, and I remember this vision that happened about seven years ago. Let's be on our feet. Say, Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Glory be to God. A time is coming, and now is when all powers will be put under subjection. And the children of God will reign all over the world. That people could be rich and successful and be on top without committing anything. And they can't do anything concerning it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I bless your children. In your power, nothing is impossible. Make them an associate and a part of heaven here on earth. Let everything that belongs to them hijacked in the spiritual world be released now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is our anniversary. Coming the ninth year of 1000 reign of Jesus Christ here on earth. Lord, ancient of days, prove yourself on Thursday, 25th March, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the coasts be cleared for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every impossibility be made possible for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May your destiny be recovered. Be recovered. Be recovered. Be recovered. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs>